to start the download with Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code from its website. It's free. So we just need to download. It comes with the Mac OS because I'm using the Mac. So whenever you see, just come to download on the right below. And you can find out which operating system you used and download it and set up. This is going to be the first step to start the project. Just write it down the pattern and it's going to come up and just click on that from the search and the downloads just click on that and then it's going to appear this is for latest version for my computer it's Mac so if it is Windows just choose from here it's going to come up the release version and these are the latest version just download and set up them to your computer this is the pre-release I don't suggest you to use the pre-release because they are not uh, stable just use the latest version of this installer then set up your pattern before we start coding we need to open our Visual Studio this is my previous project but if you are going to start from the beginning just come to the file and open folder so we need to define the place to open our new project that's why we need to find out the place okay I choose this place because I already use this folder for my Visual Studio code then I'm going to create new folder oh sorry image 205 it's going to be my folder and it's going to be appear here and I'm going to say open then this project it's going to open with my project folder file then I need to come up to new file so the new file it's going to be defined like this or right click in here and create new file so we need to give a name of the file we generally use .pa, .py for Python. So this is going to be main Python code. It's going to appear here. But before we start code, we need to define the environment. Right click on here again. Just file dot environment as a name. Let me write it down dot environment. So it's create our environment. Why we need this one? Because we need to define the, our environment related with our Python codes. So that's why we set it up this one. Also, you can use the Python uh, version of the terminal. So you can set it up by terminal as well. Open the main that's py and environment now we need to get the files codes from the website we generally use the github for use the Python code so this is the page that you need to reach for these codes so this is the our code itself I'm just opening it you see these are the codes it's appear here whenever you use set it up the pipe codes are going to be available now I'm going to copy the raw files and move on the my code and main py and I'm going to paste it here so let's check okay we have several packages here so we need to set up these packages how we are going to set up these packages we need to do the pipe 
install and then write down the package name. Let's start with this one and give a space parcel and time and CSV. Let's check what is going on and it has a problem now what it says it needs to upgrade the pipe. It's just pipe install dash dash upgrade pipe. So it's going to upgrade the pipe to use it in our terminal. Now it's done and I'm going to write it down pipe again install and HTTPX parcel time and CSV. So I'm going to do this. It says a version problem for time. Let's move then like this. Install HTTPX. Now I'm going to set up them individually. Okay, one is set it up. Pipe install parcel. It's going to set up the parcel too. Then pipe install. Let's check the time. Maybe time has a problem. Yes, it says a requirement time version. Okay. Pipe upgrade. Time. Up oh, sorry. Pipe dash dash upgrade time. Okay, it says there's no such option for upgrade. Anyway, all, all of them are set it up now. So you see the colors. So if they set it up, it's going to show the colors like that. So how we are going to start with this thing? So mainly it shows that these codes are a little, little bit complicated for you now, but whenever I explain them, you are going to understand what are those. First code, these, these codes, it's explaining that this is, the patent is going to act like the uh, browser. So it's going to start with the header as a browser. Then the prompt part, it says that search query. So whenever you search, it's going to be Define a search uh, query, but in here input. So we need to type what we are going to search. So this is defining the the, the way of uh, searching, and we need to encode query. So that means we need to change the empty space in here to plus because Google is searching like that. Google puts uh, plus between words. So this is going to encoded version. So we are going to change it. And then the base URL. This is the base URL for general search for Google. And we have second option here. Please be careful. If this one is active, this one cannot be active. If this one active, this shouldn't be active. Why it is happening like that? Okay, it is start from the up to down. So whenever the second one is active, the first one is not going to be defined because the base URL is going to change to this one because it's coming after this one. So if this one active, this is not going to work. But if you would like to search with this one, the general, uh, general search, so you need to do this. This is the exact search, like uh, if you are using two words, but these two words, it's uh, representing something it's going to be with this so this is the main uh, search the basic search this is the second uh, identical identically uh, choose the words the session means it's starting so it start with the HTTP X that means this is another package code so it's opening a website inside of the Python and the client says that the header so it's going to check the header so these are the uh, web uh, browser information so this is going to be equal to web page and this is the number of the page so the, the number of the page we are going to check 
if you would like to increase the number just change the number and after that we are going to give a name of csv file so when we finish and when we check the results on the internet on the google actually it's going to save them in csv file csv file it's a based on the uh, exam so comma separated vector so it's going to ask us to what is the what is going to be the name of the this file so we are going to name the file because it's input and we are going to type it and then it's going to start to check the C csv file and then it's going to create that information in it then it's going to start each line going to get the information from the uh, google and write it down this is the google's the page google page it's a move 10 by 10 so if we are on the second page it's going to be 20 if we are in the 50 uh, fifth page it's going to be 50 it's we are if we are in the 10th page it's going to be 100 so it's going to times page by 10 so we will move depends on this information and then we are going to get the response from the uh, website as a URL I mean it is if it is work we are not going to see it it is not work we are going to see the page error and then we are going to uh, get the response as an HTML and selector we are going to choose which part you are we are going to take it and it's going to print on the terminal area and then we are going to record them depends on which HTML codes it's represented inside of the website so that these are the HTML uh, main codes so that we are choosing from the website itself so I choose them and define them which one is what so you are going to see these things and then it's going to put these things on your file then it's going to wait two seconds to move another one and then it's going to continue till it's check how many page it's appear then it's going to close and then it's going to warn you is it okay or not now let's work with it I'm going to come here run patent file the main file we are going to play and I'm going to say play and it asked me that what I am going to search so we are checking the first one so this is the first one so if I use and search my name it's going to give me my name and uh, surname separately because we are not going to look at the exact uh, combination of these two words and I'm going to write it down uh, my name as search results I don't like to give a space for this because I need to find in my computer it's going to record in the same file so you are going to see it but this is the name of the file whenever it's finished so I need to easily find it you see on the left side it's appear in here and it's finding you see there are several different information but some of them are not related to my name so and it says that okay it's been saved and here you see whenever I come a little bit up you see this is not related with me so that is going to be problem if I'm looking at exactly what I'm searching for so what I need to do I need to put plus plus here and remove this one then I'm going to start it again and it's going to ask me the what I'm going to search I'm going to say that the same name and different results let's say two so it's going to find out exactly my name on the internet on the Google search it's going to give us different information what is uh, indexed in the website okay 
These are related with my academical uh, page. So that means I, I reference it in here. And also these are my page, I think. Yes, these are my page. This is related with me, okay. So these results come up, and also you see the pages here. These results come up with this information, exactly what I search. So if I check from here, it's going to come to the, okay, it may ask you to reading uh, CSV file. I don't interest it in because I have uh, Excel file, so I can open it in Excel. You see in here, you can see as a name of uh, what I search, it's appear. Okay, it's this is irrelevant because it was the first one. So this is not me. And this is not me as well. So these are different than what I'm looking for, exactly what I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do this, I'm just checking this one. You see all of them are related with me. You may see that the Catalonian issue is not uh, related with me, but it's my article. So all the things are related with me. And if I'm looking at the exactly word uh, combination, I need to use the second one. If I'm just interested in one word, I may use the first one. But if you leave it like that, it's going to work with the second one. So be careful, you need to use double plus for the second one. After that, you can use Excel to open your files.